India taught us an important lesson a few days ago, what seems unattainable for others may be possible for us. For centuries, the moon has captivated our imaginations, but we didn't actually set foot on it until recently. We sent robots first, followed by humans. The Soviet Union was the first to intentionally crash a spacecraft onto the moon in 1959, and the United States followed suit in 1962. Other countries, including Japan, the European Space Agency, India, and China, have purposely wrecked their spacecraft on the moon. However, space agencies have now worked out how to perform soft landings. Several countries have successfully employed braking rockets to softly land on the lunar surface and perform scientific experiments after their initial crash landings. The Soviet Union was the first to do so in 1966, followed by the United States and China. Recently, the Russian Luna 25 and Indian Chandrayaan-3 missions attempted soft landings in the Moon's South Pole, a region of interest due to the presence of water ice in permanently shadowed areas around it. Unfortunately, Russia's effort failed, but India became the fourth country to successfully land on the Moon. Hello and welcome to Z. Subscribe to the channel and follow me to find out more about the mission. Mission The Indian Space Agency reports that India has successfully landed on the moon, with the Chandrayaan-3 rover descending from the lander. India, like the United States, the former Soviet Union, and China, has now made a soft landing on the moon. When the dust settled, Vikram's panels opened, allowing Pragyan to glide down to the lunar surface via a ramp. Pragyan will now be able to collect critical data and photographs for analysis, researching the minerals and chemical makeup of the lunar surface. Communication will take place via the lander, which will relay data from Chandrayaan-2 to the orbiter for further study on Earth. Pregyan will leave an imprint of the Indian Space Research Organization's insignia and emblem on its wheels as it moves at one centimeter per second. The landing occurred at the start of a lunar day, providing the lander and rover with 14 days of sunshine to charge their batteries. When night falls, their actions will end, and it is unknown whether they will reactivate the following lunar day. The lander is also outfitted with a number of scientific instruments for exploring the moon's surface and environs. The mission's major goal is to look for water in the moon's south pole, where continuously shadowed craters are thought to potentially store ice, potentially acting as a useful resource for future human habitation and space travel to locations such as Mars. Objectives So what's the deal with that particular landing spot? First, we have the famed water ice, not the kind you'd need for your usual lemonade, but the kind that might quench the thirst of future lunar missions. India is thinking long-term sipping moon lemonade, so are you all in? The South Pole is given the ability to support life. Water isn't just good for quenching thirst, it's also essential for fostering lifestyles and constructing the swankiest moon Airbnb. I'm sure the cost won't be as enjoyable as the concept suggests. Let's take a look at the whys and hows of lunar rocks and puzzles. The South Pole is like a record book, disclosing the deepest darkest secrets of our moon's past and concealing vital hints concerning water and other volatile deposits. It's ideal for cold traps, those enigmatic and critical locations where ice from comets and meteorites lurks. But how can we know these ice traps are genuine? Scientists have conducted some ingenious experiments and measurements, and they have established that there is indeed ice in those traps. But that wasn't all they discovered. They also identified something called hydroxyl, which adds to the enigma of the moon. This astonishing discovery piqued the interest of academics, resulting in the funding of missions dedicated to probing the lunar poles with powerful infrared detectors. So what keeps the ice in these traps? It's all due to the moon's thermal behavior, which is influenced by a fascinating combination of phenomena such as sunlight scattering, thermal re-radiation, interior heat, and even the Earth's own light. It's a delicate dance that keeps the ice trapped in these lunar cold traps, just waiting for us to discover its secrets. Now consider this, a lunar exosphere, similar to the moon's VIP lounge. 
The South Pole has an exceptional exosphere, packed with gases and chemicals demanding to be explored. It's as though the moon is shouting, welcome to my kickback area. But hold on tight, because here's the good news, India isn't just touchdown rovers, they're touchdown rovers in a spot that's difficult than navigating a cosmic maze. Who knew the moon's South Pole could be so cool? It's the final cosmic hangout, and India just received a special VIP access. Spacecraft The spacecraft is outfitted with three critical components, the propulsion module, the lander, and the rover. Let us go over them one by one. Propulsion Module The propulsion module comes into action as the spacecraft approaches its destination. This module, which resembles a robust box, has a large solar panel on one side, harnessing the power of the sun to power this extraordinary adventure. The intermodular adapter cone is a cylindrical device on top of the module that serves as the gateway for the lander to link with the propulsion module. This novel design enables a smooth connection, preparing the team for their lunar expedition. Vikram Lander The Vikram Lander was a unique spacecraft component that was critical to India's Chandrayaan-3 mission. It was built with modern technology to ensure a soft landing on the moon's surface. Dr. Vikram Asarabai, a real pioneer and visionary in India's space program, was honored with the naming of the lander. Vikram weighs about 1,471 kilos and is outfitted with a variety of scientific instruments, making it a flexible and important asset. Its primary mission was to land successfully on the moon's surface and deploy the Pergyon rover to execute critical tasks. The lander was designed specifically to handle the difficult lunar terrain, utilizing complex navigation and guidance technologies to achieve an extremely precise landing. Despite the extensive planning and excellent design, the mission faced a heart-stopping moment during the attempted landing in September 2019 and fortunately survived until August 2023. What advancement? The world held its breath during the Chandrayaan-2 mission when communication with the lander was lost when it was only a few kilometers above the lunar surface. As Vikram's fate remained unknown, this unexpected change of events created a sense of expectation and optimism. Following examination, it was discovered that the lander had made a hard landing, albeit the exact site could not be confirmed. The Vikram lander's mission prolonged beyond its scheduled touchdown on the moon. It encapsulated India's lofty goals of exploring the great expanse of space and making substantial scientific contributions. While the landing did not go as planned, Vikram left an everlasting imprint on the realm of space research. It served as a sobering reminder of the enormous obstacles and complexities that come with interplanetary missions. Pragyan Rover The Pragyan Rover unquestionably takes center stage. This remarkable robotic automobile, weighing only 27 kilograms and measuring one meter tall, has the key to unlocking the mysteries of the lunar surface. It is outfitted with an astounding variety of technological instruments and is ready to embark on a mission to gather important records that will transform scientific investigations. What is its mission? To investigate the composition and properties of the moon's surface with a concentration on the landing site. This small powerhouse has a clever mobility system that includes wheels and suspension components, making it ideal for handling the difficult lunar surface with accuracy. Pergyon glides around the moon's surface at a slow pace of a few centimeters per second, powered by sunlight captured by its solar panels. Not only that, but Pergyon is outfitted with cutting-edge cameras and spectrometers that collect high-resolution photos and do elemental analysis of the lunar soil. Every pixel it collects delivers crucial insights into the moon's secrets, stimulating curiosity and paving the way for groundbreaking discoveries. Russia's failed Luna 25 mission. Landing on the moon's south pole is considerably more difficult and difficult than it appears. People frequently ask, if people have already landed on the moon, why don't they just do it again? And why isn't it happening more often now? Because of the moon's incredibly uneven craters, a number of things come into play when landing is part of the work. 
Let's look at what occurred to Luna 25. Russia's first moon mission in 47 years ended in disaster when its Luna 25 spacecraft spun out of control and smashed onto the moon. The tragedy exposed Russia's once mighty space program, which was once at the forefront of space exploration. The mission generated hopes in Moscow that Russia would return to the major power moon race, but it instead highlighted the difficulties the country confronts in sustaining its space might. The failure occurred while the Luna 25 spacecraft was preparing to enter a pre-landing orbit. The craft entered an erratic orbit and eventually impacted with the moon's surface, resulting in its annihilation. Roscosmos, Russia's official space corporation, lost touch with the ship, a severe setback for the country's space goals. Russia's collapse in space power contrasts sharply with its glory days during the Cold War, when it was the first to launch a satellite into orbit, Sputnik 1 in 1957. In addition, in 1961 Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin became the first human to journey into space. These accomplishments cemented Russia's standing as a space superpower. However, Russia's space program has experienced significant hurdles and losses since then. While moon missions are notoriously tough, with frequent failures, Russia's most recent attempt was in 1976. This extended absence from lunar missions underlined the country's space program's demise. Other countries, like as India, China, and the United States of America, on the other hand, have continued to develop their lunar goals. With its Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft, India has been racing against Russia to land on the moon's south pole. This competition puts further strain on Russia's space program, which is attempting to demonstrate its ability to compete with the world's superpowers in space. However, the failure of the Luna 25 mission could have an impact on Russia's moon program and future collaborations with countries such as China. The other three flags. India is not alone in space. It has joined the ranks of successful landers. Who are these select few? First, there was the United States, where the Apollo program successfully completed a series of manned trips to the moon between 1969 and 1972. Apollo 11, which made the first manned lunar landing in 1969, was the most renowned of these missions. NASA sent their spacecraft into lunar orbit using the Saturn V rocket, and the astronauts descended to the moon's surface using the lunar module. They would return to the command module and safely return to Earth after their tasks were completed. The second is the Soviet Union's Luna program, which focuses on lunar exploration via robotic missions. They achieved significant milestones, including as Luna 2 becoming the first spacecraft to impact the moon and Luna 9 landing softly for the first time. Luna 24 returned soil samples from the moon in 1972. Their achievements, however, were sadly eclipsed by the United States' successful manned flights. Last but not least, we have China's lunar exploration operations under the Chang'e program, which is led by the China National Space Administration. Their missions seek to investigate the moon's surface and resources. Chang'e 3 made China's first soft landing on the moon in 2013 and deployed the Yuta rover for scientific studies. Chang'e 4 became the first mission to land on the moon's far side in 2019, and Chang'e 5 successfully returned lunar soil samples to Earth in 2020. These missions have advanced China's moon exploration. The successful landing of India's Chandrayaan-3 rover on the moon is a huge achievement for the country's space agency. India has completed a soft landing on the lunar surface, joining the United States, the erstwhile Soviet Union, and China. The primary goal of the mission is to look for water at the moon's south pole, where continuously shadowed craters are thought to store ice. This precious resource could be critical for future human residents and space travel. What do you think, guys? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.